Hey, Levator Nation. So are you wondering what kind of jobs are out there if you graduate with just a bachelor's in kinesiology and you don't want to do any more schooling, no grad school, no nothing like that. If you just have that bachelor's degree, what jobs are available for you? That was something that I was definitely wondering when I was in that same situation. Should I go to grad school and become a physical therapist or occupational therapist or any other type of uh, medical professional? Or should I opt maybe in or out? You know, there's so many pros and cons in doing a job when you have a bachelor's degree, such as personal trainer, maybe strength and fitness, strength and conditioning coach for a professional team or a college team. Maybe I want to be a PE instructor or an athletic director, right? These are all things where if you have a bachelor's, it's totally okay. What's up, you guys? My name is Dr. Lift for Change, Justin Lee, physical therapist. And I am a high-performing physical therapy student coach, and I help students get accepted into physical therapy school. So in this video, I'm going to be covering 12 different careers that you can get into with just a degree in kinesiology. Bachelors only, no graduate school required. However, if you did want to get into looking into different professions that require grad school, like uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy assistant, uh, that doesn't require grad school, but uh, just additional schooling, I do have videos of that. So look in the description below to check those out. We're gonna get down to that top 12 list of uh, top jobs that you can have with a kinesiology degree. Now, I broke this down into three different categories. Um, that I think would encompass you being a kinesiology major and these three areas you might be more specific in one or maybe you can think about maybe it's not actually fitness maybe it's actually more sports that you're interested in so um, you don't have to be one or the other it doesn't have to be explicit but the three ca different categories I broke this down into are exercise and fitness health and wellness sports and coaching Okay, exercise and fitness, health and wellness, sports and coaching. Now, the different jobs that you can get into in these three categories, sometimes they will overlap. Like you might be a personal trainer in the exercise and fitness world, but for sports, right? In the sports and coaching category. So um, they do overlap. All right, so let's start with the first category, exercise and fitness. What are the jobs that are available in this realm? So you can be a personal trainer or a fitness coach, and that can be either one-on-one -on -one with somebody or in a small group training. Now, small group, I consider it to be about 10. Now, 10 is a little too much, so about eight or less people, I would say at one time, is small group training, right? Anything more than eight or more, I consider to be large group training or group fitness instructor, which brings us to the second job right so for example um, personal trainer i would train people one-on-one -on -one, and that me would be i would can be considered a personal trainer if i train maybe four people three people at the same time right they're going through different workouts and i'm monitoring them all of that stuff that's small group training now Group fitness instructor, I also worked as a coach at Orange Theory Fitness, so that's huge, right? Up to 32 people, so uh, that's definitely a group fitness instructor. You can work your way up and become a fitness manager or a master trainer, right? You've seen that maybe at 24 Hour Fitness, you see, you know, the buff guy or gal with the uh, master trainer in the back, probably crossing their arms, looking totally douche. <laughs> Uh, being a master trainer, just kidding you guys, I'm sure those of you who are master trainers, don't be offended, please. <laughs> All right, or a fitness manager of a small group, uh, small pr private company, um, you can definitely work your way up to becoming a, uh, a, the gym director, 
right? Or the, the, the clinic club manager or whatever that is, right? Kind of thing. So um, definitely you can make, it's a lucrative path, go for it if that's something that, you're, that interests you. And then you have exercise physiologist, which is another job as well. Now, exercise physiologists are great. They're the ones that are going to be uh, hooking you up with different leads and, uh, you know, the tubes and stuff to get in your VO2 max, how much oxygen you uh, uh, exchange, what's your heart rate like, etc., etc. That's the type of job you can get into. Um, quick plug, I did make a, a video on the difference between exercise physiologist and physical therapist. If you want to check that out, link below. Okay, so that concludes our first category. We're gonna move on to our second category, which is health and wellness. Now, I think this area is something that's kind of gray area, but there are a lot of jobs out there that, in, that are in need of people who are living a more healthy lifestyle and can teach others to do that. Remember, your knowledge is valuable and you can definitely monetize your knowledge and people will pay for that. So. Um, top jobs in the health and wellness category can be corporate wellness fitness instructor. That's pretty dope, right? Like what if like, let's say corporate companies, Google, Boeing, right? Different big, big stock financial companies. It's a lot more money for them if their employees get hurt and file workers comp for them to just say you know what go to these classes there's a we hired an instructor that's certified blah 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 they'll tell you exactly what to do so you can definitely be a um, fitness instructor for a corporate company they have those out there um, you can even be a fitness instructor at cruises which is pretty dope you know like the alaskan cruise caribbean cruise all that stuff so uh, definitely look into that. Um, it might be seasonal, it might not, but uh, it's something I would do if, if I went down that road, definitely. <laughs> um, next we have a community health worker. Now the a community health worker and the next one, which is a public health educator, they're kind of similar um, in a way where you're basically advocating for people's health, right? You're educating the public. You're making sure people are uh, safe and sanitary in uh, doing their daily things like washing their hands, preventing types of injuries, uh, preventing types of uh, 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 sicknesses like the flu, covering your mouth, right? The cough. I'm sure no one has a problem with that nowadays because of COVID-19, right? Everyone's pretty more germophobic, I guess. <clears throat> um, but anyway, yeah. So advocating and, and uh, educating the public on diabetes, obesity, portion sizes, right? cleaning your food, things like that. So uh, you can look into these jobs, whether they're in nonprofit or profit companies, and they can, uh, you can go from there, right? And then the last one, I think this one's super cool, is a uh, ergonomic consultant. Definitely those, that, that, those, uh, that, that, <laughs> Those jobs that have a lot of uh, sitting, right? Where you're at a desk all day. Think about in downtown, wherever you live, those sky rise buildings. We have so many people who are working and sitting all day. Now the ergonomics has to be good. If it doesn't, then they're gonna have overuse injuries and thus file workers comp, get physical therapy. We see those patients all the time. But if an ergonomic consultant comes in and fixes you, then you can then the company saves money because they're not spending it on workers' comp and stuff. So you can see how this can be kind of valuable. So there are uh, services or programs out there where consultants will go to different corporate companies or different companies and adjust their ergonomics so that you know their neck and their shoulders are in the right alignment. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right? So all those things are super important. So um, that's the last profession in our health and wellness category. And lastly, we have sports and coaching. Now this is really cool. I think if you are totally into the athletic world and getting into sports and coaching, definitely get into this. But I'm gonna tell you right now, just straight up front, although it sounds sexy and sporty, it's a very hard profession to break into because there's not that many jobs available, positions available, and there's so many people that want to get into it. Guarantee, if you ask one of your classmates, hey, what do you want to do in the future? 
uh, that's a kinesiology major, they'll mention something with sports. So um, just know that the entry point is kind of hard. And even if you have a degree, it might be hard. So you might have to have additional certifications to try to make yourself more competitive. But anyway, um, here we go. The first job is an assistant or a head coach, right? A sports coach. Now this can be either being the head coach, so you're making the calls, you're doing the plays, you're doing all of that stuff and directing all the stuff that's necessary. Or you can be just a technique person or a strength and conditioning person, which uh, we can go into next, which is a second category, which is a strength and conditioning coach for whatever team, for the Lakers, strength and conditioning coach for your high school football team or whatever, right? Next is an athletic director. Now just keep in mind that these can also get in different tiers, right? Middle school, high school, college, pro. So you can go across the board with these. And of course the higher or the more elite level, the more demanding it is, meaning the more certifications you'll probably have to get. Uh, athletic director, right? This person is gonna be directing all the different athletic clubs and um, the, the money coming in and the different types of organizations, the financials, the uh, equipment, all of that stuff at the high school, college, and, and, and beyond level. And they typically make a little bit more because they're in a managerial position, right? And then lastly, you have personal training, um, but specializing in sports conditioning. So maybe you're not actually going into the, uh, the strength and conditioning time of the, the team, but maybe they're looking for additional training or specialization outside of their uh, training time, right? So you can definitely be that go-to person. Woo! Guys, um, so that's it. Yeah, we have the top 12 jobs, at least something that I would look into if I were to just have a uh, bachelor's in kinesiology without doing a further education in grad school for a doctorate or a master's degree. So um, I hope this video helped inspire you to maybe make some decisions and make a decision on one of those 12 jobs. If any of that inspires you and you're like, hey, I wanna look more into that, please comment below. If you like this video, give this a like. Uh, if you have any comments or concerns or if you want to just uh, give some positive feedback, please make sure you comment below. And uh, if you have any friends that are in this profession and they're kind of lost or they don't want to go to grad school, please share this video with them. Guys, if you are by any chance interested in going into physical therapy school, like I mentioned, I am a physical therapy school coach. So I help students get accepted into PT school and recover the whole application process from all your uh, requirements, your GREs, your prerequisites, all of that stuff, to your interview and your resume and all that uh, stuff like that. So if you're interested, I do have an online course available. I'll put that in the link in the description below so you can access that. It's super cheap, super affordable for all students, and it can definitely get you a leg up into jump-starting your application process so you already know what to look for in a couple years years right and then that way you can um, increase your chances of getting accepted and there's a lot more specific tips and details in there to help you uh, stand out in your application but anyway thank you so much for watching all the way to the end i really appreciate you all guys i thank you so much i'm excited for you please uh, leave me any comments if you have any types of positive news if you get accepted or you get a certain job i would love to hear it all right, stay lifting, stay aloha, God bless. Have a great one, you guys.